So, once upon a time, um, I came home and my girlfriend at the time was crying. And I'm like, why are you crying? She said, oh, it's nothing. So what happened? Some guy, what guy? Guy in the street, what do you do to you? He was hassling me. What do you mean he was hassling you? He wouldn't let me cross unless I told him my name went out with him. So, so what'd you do? Well, I tried to push him away and he wouldn't let me cross. I'm like, well, why didn't you tell him that to fuck off or something? Ah, uh, well, why didn't you kick him in the balls? Uh, I said, this is crazy. I'm going to follow you home next time in the baseball bat. We'll get this guy. She says, don't be silly. I said, why? She said, it happens all the time. What do you mean it happens all the time? She said, it doesn't matter where I am. If I'm going to school, coming home from school, going to work, riding the bus, or in the library aisle there, if I'm you know, shopping at the supermarket, these guys, they think they're God's gift to women, they come by and, and hassle me. They ask me to, you know, marry them, go out with them, suck them, you know, whatever. I said, this is crazy. She said, well, I'm just used to it. And I thought, this is ridiculous. What am I going to do about this? I'm a guy. So I thought, I know. I'll do a show in my apartment, and I'll call it the Free Sex Show, Norm's Bachelor Pad. And I'll talk about sexual harassment. And the friend said, don't be stupid. No guy will ever come to your apartment unless you give him free beer. I thought, I don't have free beer for 20 guys, because I was going to borrow 20 chairs. They said, go to the university, go to McGill University, do your show at McGill. I'm like, okay. So I went to McGill University. 300 people came. I did a show called I Don't Understand Women. One man show for dicks, dweebs, hunks, boyfriends, bachelors, nerds, sissies, jocks, blah, 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 playboys, and women. 300 people came, and that was in 1993. And now today, more than a million people have seen the series of anti-sexist, uh, queer-positive, anti-homophobic sex shows that I do all across North America.